I'm Miriam, and today we're going to talk a little bit more about the holiday stuff we touched on last week. Um, I really wanted to go over some of the questions I like to ask when people have, um, you know, wanting are, are deciding whether or not they want to simplify their holidays and um, figuring out what that plan might look like. And so rather than just doing what you've always done, why not take a little bit of time this year to actually consider and figure out what you want to do? Sorry, I'm having the eyes. The eyes are not working today. Um, so rather than going on just the same way we always have and making hectic decisions and not really figuring out what we want instead, take a little bit of time. Let's... Um, create that delight you've always dreamed of. And the easiest way is to set aside a little bit of time and ask yourself some essential questions, the ones that will get you a different result than you've done in the past when you've just gone about doing, doing, doing instead of thinking about it. So um, yeah, it's all about creating a more delightful and joyous season. So why not start this week? We have a few weeks before Thanksgiving, so even if you have some plan set, there's still time to adjust and adapt to some things. And I know a lot of you are very last minute planners, so it's a good time to start thinking about what you want to do instead, how you want to create the most delightful ever next eight weeks of your life, right? So let's see. You can do this by journaling on these questions, by contemplating these questions, by gathering a group of people involved in these questions. Um, you could even do an interpretive dance if that's what brings you to the right answers to these questions. But bottom line is you have to think about it. And then you do that, the thing you want. It's going to be much better than the things everybody else expects from you. So start with some easy things. What did you absolutely love about last year's holiday season? Was there anything in particular you really felt drawn to and were pleasantly surprised by or just gave you warm fuzzies about the whole experience? Keep that. Those are the kinds of things you want to keep. Then think about, take it back a ways. What's your favorite holiday memory ever? What happened? What made it so great? What was the pieces of that that needed to be in place for that to have happened. Tell me about that. Tell yourself about that. Tell your friends and family about that. Let's start creating what more of that favorite memory thing. What made it so special? Third question is, what was the worst thing about last year? You got to have both sides, right? There's a happy medium in there somewhere. Um, and why would you want to repeat something that was terrible? So we want to make sure we identify it clearly to get it off the list for this year. Because really, we want to have delightful and joyous, not horrific and embarrassing or floppy or hurtful, right? I mean, so many times um, a bad holiday experience comes from our relationships and interactions with people. So figure out what you can do ahead of time to create a more positive vibe around that. And a lot of times that's just adjusting your expectations, right? It's not going to be perfect. It's going to be delightfully imperfect. So let's start with that. Um, and then ah, my favorite question ever, why or what is something that you've always wanted to try but never done because you had never done it before and you weren't sure it would work? Is it a new recipe? Is it a new way of decorating? Is it not decorating? Is it not going to those people's house for that party you've gone to for the last 20 years? What is something that you've always wanted to try and never done for the holiday? What if you tried it this year? What's the worst that could happen? It's practice for next year when it might work out better? I don't know. Sometimes it's travel. Sometimes it's just doing a different kind of um, puzzle. But what is something you've always wanted to try and never had a chance to? Um, I think it's the perfect year to try. Okay. Um, what else do I want to think of? Okay. So now that you have a good idea of what's gone well and what hasn't gone well and what you a couple things you might like to do instead, now it's time to sit down and actually make the plan. The perfect for you plan. 
not the perfect one that shows up on Instagram, not the one your mother-in-law said you should do, not the one grandma expects, but the one you would really like to have. What does that holiday look like? What would the next two months look like if it was all up to you? Because in fact, it actually is. You get to create your own experience of the holidays. And what would that look like for you? I want to know. Um, feel free to put in the comments that you would like a copy of the questions to work with. Um, I'm happy to send you a PDF of those, but I will need you to, to let me know in the comments if you're one of the people that would like that. Um, yeah. And in the meantime, uh, there will be another declutter masterclass coming up that I do a few so different people could join. Um, I'm just looking at the date. That would be the, on the 16th. I will be doing another declutter masterclass. So far, they've gone really well, and I think people are getting a lot out of it. So join. You can find the registration for that at morethanorganized.net. It's right there on the homepage. And in the meantime, have a delightful day. Thanks.